The African Union-led negotiations between the Sudanese government on one side and the Sudan call, which is made up of SPLM North, Darfur armed movements and opposition political parties on the other side, kicked off in Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia. Sudan was the largest country in Africa until 2011, when the neighbouring South Sudan separated into an independent country. Since then, the government has been at odds with a number of opposition forces, including armed rebels in Darfur and the two areas, South Kordofan and Blue Nile states. Blue Nile and South Kordofan have been at war with the government since 2011 without any resolution of their grievances. Though Darfur, in the west of Sudan, has been embroiled in conflict since 2003, the roots of the crisis stretch back much further. Efforts to find peaceful solutions have been attempted before, but all have failed. The opposition umbrella group came together again for the 12th round of peace talks. <laughs> the position, therefore, that we've arrived at now uh, is that uh, the members of the Sudan call reflected in that roadmap agreement uh, will now sign uh, that, that agreement after the reflection that we mentioned uh, when we were here in, in March. In March 2016, the roadmap was signed only by the AU chief negotiator, Thabo Mbeki, and the Sudan government. The Sudan call originally refused to sign the roadmap agreement at that time, stating they needed to review the document for possible amendments. A breakthrough occurred where the Sudan call main parties signed the roadmap on August the 8th, 2016. The people of Sudan have suffered long enough. It's time for all the leaders, government and opposition, to come together in a very serious effort uh, to try to find a way forward that everyone can live in peace uh, with dignity, uh, and with uh, the prospect of uh, a better future for their children. I want to remind you all that this is a step forward. We don't expect the peace is coming tomorrow, but it is a process that started, and we, in the Sudan War, we have come here in force and in good face, and it takes to the tango, the government of Sudan, and us must put our differences, our differences, behind us, so that we achieve the desired peace in Sudan. While the peace process had received accolades from the international community, tensions and areas of contention between the two parties have prevailed. Definitely there are certain stumbling blocks within the text, but up to now we are very optimistic, we are determined to go through the document again and to overcome الأمر الآخر نحن لن نصل لاتفاق الوقف العدايات في المنطقتين دون دارفور. After a week of talks and negotiations, the agreement collapsed on the issue of humanitarian access into Blue Nile and South Kordofan states. The SPLMN was willing to allow both cross-border and cross-line access through Khartoum and Ethiopia, but the government refused access across international borders. Mr. Mandis, this statement. 